I'm Andrew Eccles. Um, I'm in the School of Social Work and Social Policy in the University of Strathclyde in uh, Glasgow in the United Kingdom. And I want to give a brief introduction to um, my paper, T Telecare Technologies and Isolation, Some Ethical Issues. Telecare technologies involve the remote monitoring of patients and service users who have health, rehabilitation or social needs. These technologies, although deployed unevenly in developed countries, represent a shift in the ways in which care is practiced, involving as they do multi-sensor monitoring equipment or GPS tracking. Research on the consequences of this shift away from more traditional hands-on care has focused primarily on quantitative measurement, for example, cost savings or the impact on institutional care, with less attention paid to how recipients themselves experience these new care practices. This paper discusses two aspects of telecare technologies which are under-researched. The potential for loneliness, which may arise as a result of isolation from the use of these technologies, and the ethical issues raised by this. The primary locus of the discussion is the United Kingdom, where a major public policy shift towards telecare is underway, premised on the assumptions of cost savings and enhanced quality of life. Telecare research based on randomised controlled trials has been particularly well funded by government but has concluded that cost savings are at best ambiguous and quality of life is not axiomatically enhanced. The discussion in this paper concludes that there is indeed the potential for loneliness, a condition increasingly recognised as a significant factor in reducing overall health and well-being in the use of these technologies. The ethical implications of this are not being sufficiently considered, in part because the ethical frameworks in use do not adequately address the issue of loneliness itself, given their biomedical rather than relational focus. The paper suggests two ways of redressing this. First, the addition of approaches to ethics other than a biomedical model, particularly approaches with a relational and contextual focus, or greater exploration of how the two approaches might interact. Second, it suggests that a paradigm shift towards solutions other than technology-based care is overdue. This shift would not underplay the importance of technological contributions to care needs, which are demonstrably significant. It would, however, be an argument to suggest we proceed with some caution, advance the research evidence on the complexity of users' experiences of these technologies, and explore potentially simpler and ethically more relational approaches to how we deal with future care needs, such as the inclusion of shared or intergenerational living.